I was picked up off the street by the police. Placed inside a racist organisation and then betrayed at the end of it. It's like him being incarcerated but not having a date to get out, and yet he's not a criminal. It's like living a life, an unfulfilled man. It's totally devastated my life, yeah. It really has, yeah. We're both on medications from the doctor, from the psychiatrist, from the psychologist. We've got everything from morphine to antidepressants, the duloxetine, trazodone, gabapentin, uh, the codeine. It just, the list is endless, really. I haven't got any family now apart from Gary and my two children. How did your mum? react to your relationship with Karen? Um, she said he was dangerous and an extremist. I said he's not like that, he did a job. She wouldn't listen, they wouldn't have it. How difficult has it been to lose that relationship with your mother? <sighs> Awful, because you've lost your mum, your brother, your sister, your, your little nieces, your nephews. Everybody. Can't you stop a minute? Before the police came into my life, uh, my life was running and doing uh, ultra distance events. I had things planned running across ice caps, running across Australia, running across America, which of course never came into uh, actually happening because the police came along. That's when the, they first approached me and said, would you be interested in doing any work for us? And I said, yes, I was up for the challenge. They then said to me, you'd be infiltrating the BMP. And I didn't know who the BMP was. And they said, it's like the NF, the National Front. So I remembered them, but I didn't have a clue about the BMP. As soon as I went in there, that was it. My life wasn't my own. The money was there, it wasn't enough, but you just had to trust the people that was running you, that was handling you really. And I thought the bigger picture was to get in with these people, do it for the right things, get the intelligence, sort the racists out and let the other things deal with themselves in the future, which I thought they would have done. I passed on stuff to police about eight mail. I was asked if I'd be interested in um, sticking pig's heads on top of mosque fences, shouting different racial comments across the street uh, to black people. It's just a way of life. It's just there all the time. The racism's there in your face all the time. Flying the Flag article came out saying that the two main interests I have in life was endurance running and keeping Britain white. 
From then, my local newspaper got hold of it. I told my special boat and sandlers, and I said, well, is any of it not true? I said, of course it's not true. I'm working for you lot, of course it's not true. And that's when uh, Penny dropped, and things started to go wrong with my life, really. Uh, it affected my work. Uh, I lost a job because the manager says, uh, I've got to lose you, Gary, because people are threatening not to come in, because they're not coming in my club while there's a racist <laughs> like you on the door. It's drained everything out of me, everything. But I've just carried on pursuing it because, um, you know, it's wrong what they're doing. When you talked about the BMP and what you did, I didn't really know some of that stuff. And it's gut-wrenching to hear some of it. Yeah. Mm. And I'm sorry about that. Oh, that's what? Mm. Never a moment of doubt because he's a sincere, loyal man. Even when I first met him, I knew he was a good man. You could tell, you just know. He's never been that way inclined in all the time I've known him. He's been an amazing stepdad. He's a dad to them, through and through. His kindness and love towards them both shows me the man he is. You want to let it go, in a way, to have, a, have peace, but you can't, because you've still got to progress with it and try and sort it out. When something's so wrong, you can't drop it. When it's so wrong and it's affected your life to this degree, you can't drop it, it's impossible to. Um, but we've got each other, haven't we? Yeah. But yeah. we just want to have the peace to have each other completely. And that's it, really.